sure enough, when I went back to see him, I was diagnosed with cancer, an undifferentiated squamous cell carcinoma because of my use of this stuff right here, spit tobacco. I went through 12 and a half hours of surgery, nine days before my 27th birthday. They ended up cutting through my jaw, they had to take out a third of my tongue, and they had to go down into my neck and remove muscle tissues and lymph glands out of the right side of my neck. And in the process of doing that, they destroyed nerves. I can't raise my arm any higher than that now because of the nerve damage. I lost partial use of my right arm. Spit tobacco, also called chewing tobacco. In spit tobacco, there's no smoke or tar to inhale, so it must be safer than cigarettes, right? Truth is, spit tobacco places 10 times more cancer-causing ingredients in the mouth and bloodstream than cigarettes. And because spit tobacco stays in the mouth for hours at a time, nicotine and other poisons have more time to be absorbed. You may think that when you spit out the tobacco, the danger is over, but the harmful chemicals still linger. Poisons like polonium-210, an element found in nuclear waste that gives off radiation. Lead, a lethal nerve poison. Arsenic, cyanide, and 25 other deadly ingredients. And still people tell themselves, I'll just try it a few times, or I'll quit while I'm young before anything bad can happen. In this video, you'll meet people who said the same exact things. They didn't know how addictive spit tobacco would be, or that its deadly side effects can happen to anyone, even young people.